Hi everyone, KNWA and Fox 24 Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff in the Weather Center. I'm talking a little quiet because my voice is not doing the best, but I still wanted to update you on the latest potential for Thursday's system as far as the severe weather threat. And we're going to give you the four W's starting off. So here's what you need to know with this system coming in Thursday evening. First of all, the threat for isolated tornadoes east of the dry line does exist along with isolated storms, but there still is a question exactly where those storms will develop, when they will mature. I'll get into all of that here in just a bit. Damaging winds and large hail also a threat from this storm. So when we say severe weather, we're talking about spring type severe weather, severe thunderstorms, uh, as well as damaging winds, large hail and isolated tornadoes. Now timing is a little bit in question. It does appear this system is moving in a little faster uh, with each computer model run. So isolated storms are possible in eastern Oklahoma developing east of the dry line as early as 3 o'clock. Really I think the timing is going to be more around 5 to 6 o'clock in the evening. But I threw in 3 o'clock just in case it develops a little earlier. So between 3 to 9 p.m. that's about the 6 hour window that you can expect severe weather potential. Also, these storms are going to be ripping along really quickly. Very fast moving storms at 45 to 55 miles an hour. Very strong jet stream winds will push these storms quickly. And then we have another round of severe weather to our southeast in west central Arkansas and central Arkansas on Friday. The greatest risk with these storms will be in the river valley as well as parts of northwest Arkansas. But as far as where exactly the worst will be, the breaks in the clouds are the key. If we see a lot of sunshine tomorrow over northwest Arkansas and temperatures warm rather dramatically into the lower to middle 70s, uh, that is going to be bad news for northwest Arkansas as far as the potential for severe weather. Now the entire area is under the risk of severe weather. And the reason all this is occurring, we have moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. We have a dry line set up in eastern Oklahoma. Now, when I say that very last one, the low slightly out of phase, what I mean by that is by the time the real um, extreme moisture and instability starts to move in and when the low level winds start to crank up, the system will be actually moving to our north. So storms might develop a little bit early and then mature when they get into north central Arkansas away from our area and to the east. So here's our temperatures for uh, right now. We're in the lower to middle 50s and I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time what's happening on this Wednesday March 26 but you can see the rain moving in as expected. This is not severe. It will bring a little bit of moderate rain at times. There still is dry air at the surface and here's the radar look. Rain is approaching northwest Arkansas already moving into Benton and Washington County but it will pick up a lot more around your commute time in the afternoon and evening. So here's our severe weather risk. It's for Thursday afternoon into the evening, and we are looking for the threat for isolated tornadoes along with large hail and damaging winds. You can see that yellow shaded area. That is a slight risk of severe weather according to the Storm Prediction Center, and a slight risk means a few thunderstorms will be severe. However, with their new day two outlook, you'll notice the orange uh, circled or ovaled area, that is an area of enhanced severe weather. And what we mean by enhanced is significant severe weather. And that's why I have that potential for significant. And I will tell you folks, that is right smack dab over our area. Water vapor, very impressive low now. Moving into uh, the Las Vegas area, this system is rapidly racing eastward. And so it is going to come in a little earlier than previously thought and by the early afternoon conditions will be ripe for severe weather but by the time uh, the low level winds really start to crank up the system will be pushing to the east so we are going to be on the western edge of these developing storms in northwest Arkansas let me give you the setup of what we are expecting first of all the dry line will most likely be positioned by Thursday afternoon in eastern Oklahoma now this dry line, however, could back up just a little bit more, and if that's the case, the storms as they move into northwest Arkansas might be more mature. However, if that dry line mixes east all the way into eastern Oklahoma, close to the Arkansas-Oklahoma uh, Arkansas border, those storms will be even more intense. But here's what I'm expecting. Warm moist air is going to be surging up from the Gulf of Mexico, that's east of the dry line, to the west of the dry line, which is that uh, uh, brown 
half circled dotted line that you see on the screen uh, drier warmer air from the southwest and it's during the collision of these two air masses where you get that potential uh, for thunderstorm development. There will also be strong low-level winds at about 925 millibars above the ground, which is approximately 1,800 feet above the ground. And our last ingredient is the jet stream. Now you can see the way those arrows are moving with different speeds and different directions. That is what we call wind shear. And wind shear is a key ingredient for storms to rotate. And wind shear will be in place. But these low-level winds will start to turn more west-southwesterly, which will lessen the tornado potential by the uh, late, uh, late evening and into the overnight hours. So again, we are expecting some thunderstorms to develop, but depending on how far east they develop ahead of the dry line could be the determining factor as to what type of severe weather that we will see. Needless to say, though, and nevertheless, this dry line will be to the west of us, and there will be a ripe environment for severe weather potential. So that's a little web briefing and a webcast extra on this severe weather potential. I'll be posting another update here coming up later on this evening on how you can keep up with all of the latest technology that we offer here at the Weather Authority Weather Center. We've got live streaming video. We've got weather call, weather radios, you name it. We've got you covered as far as severe weather and getting those alerts to you. And so I'll be posting another update here coming up in just a bit. Of course, you can watch the newscast as well, KNWA 5, 6, and 10 o'clock on KNWA and on 530 and 9 o'clock on the Fox News Edge. Better rest of the voice, folks. You have a good one. We'll see you later.